Marchant owner of the Marchant Training Method. And today I'd like to talk about the different aspects of my business. There are two main points of focus in my business. There's the physical fitness side, which is the corrective exercise and the um, strength and conditioning. And there's also the holistic healthcare side, which is what we're going to talk today about, which is holistic nutrition. So my objectives today are this. Number one, I want to describe to you briefly what a holistic health practitioner does. And I've handed out some uh, papers there that, that go more into detail on what a holistic health practitioner is. We're not going to go into that much detail, but you can read through that. Number two on my objectives are to address the areas of health that are covered in holistic nutrition. Number three, I'd like to share with you the characteristics and traits that make me both unique and effective in my business. And fourth, and most importantly, I would like to explain how I can help your continued success in your business and help you invest wisely in your health. First, let's define what success is. Success, a very easy definition, is getting what you want. Whereas happiness is wanting what you get. Well, the great news is we are going to achieve both of those by being able to be successful and get what we want. I'd like to quote an author, Napoleon Hill, who wrote the book, Think and Grow Rich. He described 31 causes, major causes of failure. Number six is ill health. This author also described the six, six basic fears that every human suffers at some point in their life. Number three is the fear of ill health. So today we're going to talk about how to step over that hurdle in our own success. Quick definition of health before we get started with this presentation is health is the overall condition of the human body being in optimal order and free of disease. And this is controlled by a few factors. One of the most main and most repetitive factors to our health is what we eat. Health concerns itself with vitality before longevity. We're not concerned with necessarily how long we're alive, but the health of while we are alive. So what does a holistic health practitioner do? There are six major areas of focus that I do when working with the client. Number one is breath, helping people breathe correctly. Number two is movement, learning to move appropriately for them, applying the concept of working out versus working in. Number three, sleep making sure that we're all getting enough sleep. Four, thoughts, five, water, and six, food. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, holistic nutrition. So there are three characteristics that make me unique. I call these the power of I. Number one, I inform the individual. This is personalized nutrition for your biochemical needs. Now, if you don't understand what biochemical means, think of your car and think of the oil that you put in it. Every time you turn the car on, you're not concerned or you don't think about the oil, but it's in there and it's doing its job. Or let's say it should be doing its job. That's kind of what biochemistry is. The stuff that's going on in the inside of you that needs to be doing its work that we don't necessarily think about all the time. In this business, you would think that informing the individual is key, but I can share with you from my experience, a lot of times, whether it be um, other individuals doing nutrition or a lot of nutrition books, that you, as a unique individual, is, is not always considered in the nutrition plan. It can be just a photocopy or just some words written on a paper that is good for the author, but the question is, is it good for you? So these are the areas of health that must be addressed if you want to take a holistic, which means a whole body approach to your nutrition. First, you need to look at the macronutrient needs that you have. Macronutrients are your proteins, your fats, and your carbs. Micronutrients would be your vitamins and minerals. So this area is key for addressing health. What do you need as an individual? My needs are not your needs and vice versa. So we have to find out what does this individual need? Well, one way we do that is by metabolic typing. There are some easy questionnaires that I hand out that someone would go through, and it gives them a, a, a key or a clue where to start looking to eat for their needs. There's three basic types. There's a protein type, a carb type, and a mix type, and other authors would call it different types, but the, the basic theme is this. There are different types of eaters. Not everyone is to eat the same. Not everyone has the same needs. And if you eat wrong for your type, one of the main things that will help happen, it will affect your blood sugar levels. 
Now your type can change.